If you are an out-of-state investor trying to get your business moving in those cash flow markets, right? Specifically the Cleveland market, this is the number one resource for information for you. So you're just freaking bad shit crazy if you're not watching this show, man. Today we're talking about duplex and it's going to be a dope show. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you invest in real estate. Now, today we're working for my guy, Mark. Mark is an out-of-state investor. Uh, who determined that investing in the Cleveland market was going to be what he wanted to do. Uh, and I am the number one resource for people trying to invest in the Cleveland market, right? So, folks, the way this show works is I'm about to go over the numbers on a property that Mark sent me, let them know if it's a good deal or bad deal. If you're not Mark and you're watching this show, you can't buy this house. Why? Because this video is, like, super, like, late. Uh, I guess you could think of me as a time traveler. I am talking to you from... Would that be the future or the past? This this video occurred in the past, but you will see it in the future, you see, because I leave it private for many, many months, uh, and then I release it publicly later. So, wait, does that make me from the future, or does that make me from the past? I am either from the future or from the past. I'm not 100% sure which one those are. Uh, if you're not Mark, though, I am one of those. I am a time traveler, okay, because this is property long gone, no longer available. Mark's had access to this for a long time. So if you want to buy from me, want to work with me one-on-one -on -one in the same way you're about to watch Mark do, you want to do it in real time, right? Don't have to get involved in the time travel action. Uh, after the show, you can click the notes below, book a free call with my team. We will walk you through that process. Now, folks, we're going to take a quick break while I try to determine if I am from the future or not. And then I will go over the numbers on this property for you, Mark. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now we're going to go over numbers. The numero unos, man. This is what it's all about, right? It's all about the numbers, okay? Now, this one, it's in Garfield Heights. It's a nice little dealio, okay? It's going to need a little bit of rehab, but this one's pretty solid, right? These are the types of deals that uh, you guys could, you know, get solid, safe investments, nice returns, and you don't have to always pay a, a turnkey premium, right? Buy from regular mom and pops. That's what this one is, right? Uh, 11418 McCracken Road, Garfield Heights. Just hit the market at 129.9. And the reason you want to work with somebody like me is my goal is to help you get the best possible deal, right? So I do not work for the seller. I am not the seller. I work for you, right? So I don't think 129 is the right price for this. I think 115 uh, is probably going to be what it's going to take to take this sucker down. And then you got to do about 30K in rental, right? So you're all in budget. It's going to be about 145, right? What does that 30K in reno entail? Well, this is a pretty cool house, man. <coughs> the bed count on this is like, uh, would make it appear smaller than it is, but it's really not, right? It's like a basically like a single family house with like a legal second unit that kind of got set up as like a in-law suite originally, but it's a legal second unit. So you get like very spacious stuff. So the amount of bedrooms are a little lower than you'd expect for this rent, but it's so spacious. But... As you see, right, you got, like, the shag carpet look and stuff, right? I don't know if that's exactly shag carpet, but that's definitely, like, nice, plush, poofy, super old carpet, right? Like, honestly, that carpet probably smells like your grandma, as does this bathroom, right? This is, like, your grandma's bathroom. So we got to bring this uh, house up uh, to the 21st century, right? So we're talking carpet, floors, walls, okay? So, like, this kitchen, yeah, this currently in its current iteration Looks like your grandma's kitchen, right? But you don't have to go buck wild, right? Like what you want to do is this floor right here, we're going to place this, right? Where those carpets are throughout this house, right? These old school grandma carpets. We're going to pull those up. 
99% chance there's going to be hardwood floors under there. That's how these were built, right? Like new houses today, uh, when they build them, they do like a subfloor. It's like plywood, right? Back in the day, just straight hardwoods. That's just how it was built. It wasn't like plywood, then hardwoods. It was just the hardwood planks. Uh, oftentimes, you could refinish those. That's what we will do. We will refinish those, and then this floor does not have hardwood in it. That will be a vinyl floor, which will also match the bathrooms, right? And then you got the hardwoods throughout the rest of the house, okay? If for some reason there wasn't hardwoods and they were in too poor a shape, uh, we would just do vinyl floor throughout, right? They got vinyl floor that looks like hardwoods, right? And then fresh paint throughout, nice modern tone, probably like a gray, a grayish, a gray or a gray, like a, a gray or a beige, right? You combine them, dude, right? Grayish. And then the counter, kitchen counter and stuff, that looks pretty decent, right? We may uh, splash you with some paint, right? Paint those like a dark gray. They look pretty cool. And that's pretty much it, right? That's the type of rental we're looking for, right? It'll be cash paying tenants could do the deal. Uh, Section 8 tenants, it'll be Section 8 ready to rock. This is a bonus bathroom, by the way. That's like not what your bathroom looks like. This is a little basement dungeon. But it's a bonus. Most of the time, you don't see these additional basement bathrooms in these houses, right? The furnaces both look fairly new, right? Which is good because furnaces cost about three to $3,500 to replace, and they last about 30 years. Hot water tank what you got right there uh they look to be in good condition but i bet you'll have to replace one or both of them within the next like five to ten years for any about 1200 or so we got updated electrical right and then just more of the same right this is where that 30k budget's going right this is like a, a grandma video this our grandma kitchen right the other kitchen's grandma kitchen the carpet is grandma carpets right but that's cool man this is just quick easy simple cosmetic rehabs right just take care of this hardwoods one color uh grayish Vinyl in the kitchens and the baths, and that's it, right? And then you got a fully ultra modern, renovated looking thing, right? And you'll get six seventy five for the little in law suite slash one bedroom apartment. But again, it's actually a lot bigger than like a normal small one bedroom apartment. And then the two two, which is like the house, again, a lot bigger than you'd see like on a two one duplex. You'll get about nine ninety five for that because it's like a full friggin' size house there, and it's got the attached two car garage. That's pretty gnarly. So you'll be able to get sixteen seventy, right? So <clears throat> that would be a schedule of twenty thousand forty dollars. But folks. On my show, I teach you guys what it's really like to be a real estate investor. You don't get to keep the 20 grand, folks. You got fixed and variable expense estimates, right? We make real estate investing easy for you all, but you know what? There's still a cost of things, right? So, of the 20,000 that's supposed to come in, you'll spend about 12, and your real NOI should average out over the long haul. Uh, to be just under 8K a year. And that's going to include my team doing all the management, right? We do it all, folks. Don't matter where you live. You could live in Hawaii. You could live in California. You could live in Singapore. I've actually owned properties with a couple investors in Singapore, right? I've had clients in Germany, clients in the UK, uh, clients in Korea. The good one, not not the bad one. Not the nuclear Korea, the other one, the cool Korea, where the karate kid came from. I don't even know if the Karate Kid was Korean, honestly. I hope that wasn't racist. That may have been racist. I apologize if that was taken racist. I like the movie The Karate Kid. I think it was actually Japanese was Mr. Miyagi. I don't remember. I like the Korean people and the Japanese people. All totally cool with me, folks. Don't get offended. But the bad Koreans, we got to watch out for that country, man. They're, they're a little wild. You know what I'm saying? Rocket man! Anyway, back to what we're talking about. 7900 is approximately what you're going to make. My team does everything for you on your behalf. So wherever you live, it's cool, baby. We are your boots on the ground. Now, as far as how the numbres, numero unos will look, $145,000 investment. Cash is only going to be about sixty-six. The rest is through the loan. If you need lenders, I got them. And that pencils out to a 5.5% cash-on-cash return. Not like the most amazing cash-on-cash cash return you've ever seen. Yes, if you want to, to get other assets in this market, we can increase those numbers greatly. But again... You will have a totally renovated rocking house, and it's in like you know basically like a B grade neighborhood. So sometimes uh, stability is worth more than the paper cash returns, right? Uh, also, those paper cash returns probably will be a little bit higher than that at the beginning because we're doing all the repairs. You probably don't need capex uh, expenditures for a while. But if you look at that chart again, if you see, I have you saving 
three thousand dollars to cover your capex your vacancy your repairs and your maintenance right the nicer you have your house the nicer the neighborhood it is the less money you're going to be spending on vacancy non-payment throughout the years uh the less money you're going to be spending on repairs and maintenance obviously because most of the time when you do repairs it's at your turnovers really uh so the numbers may actually come out better because this is a safe solid investment right so i know people come to this market looking for stuff to be like super sexy and yeah we have those but don't forget folks that does usually involve going to uh, a little bit more risque type properties but i think this one is, is safe and solid man it's not like gonna change anybody's life but you tack on 10 15 20 30 of these in your portfolio and these are the kind of properties they're going to sell for a premium when you do resell because this will be very attractive to an owner occupant one day because again it was like a full-on house with like an in-law suite uh, so your internal rate of return uh, could potentially be higher than a traditional duplex as well. So I like this deal quite a bit. Well, let me know if you want to put in an offer. If so, again, I recommend 115. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.